Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. Today, New Mexicans gathered to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice serving our country. A Medal of Honor recipient who is wanting to honor the fallen was also honored. He was a guest speaker at one of today's events. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. Crystal, in the midst of today's memorial at Albuquerque Veterans Memorial Park, Sergeant Hiroshi Hershey Miyamura talked about his days in combat, being a prisoner of war, and returning home to New Mexico. This Memorial Day, generations gather to pay tribute to fallen comrades, and among those honored, <laughs> local hero and Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant Hiroshi Hershey Miyamura. If you have any children at all, be sure and tell them of your experiences. The Korean and World War II vet shared his own words of wisdom with the crowd. And after dozens of handshakes and photos, Thank you, sir. Thank you for service. the retired Army sergeant and Gallup native shared his story with us. I was a squad leader and I had approximately 16 men under my command and I had to make a decision. As a machine gun squad leader in 1951, his post came under attack. He protected his men, wielding his bayonet in close hand-to-hand -hand combat, helping the wounded. Injured himself, Miyamura was captured and kept as a prisoner of war for more than two years. My wife did not know I was alive for over a year because the enemy never released any names of the prisoners they had under their command. He says his will to survive got him through the experience. He and his wife will celebrate 66 years of marriage in June. Miyamura has been called America's top secret hero. His Medal of Honor initially kept a secret until President Eisenhower presented him the medal in 1953. They kept it a secret because they were afraid of retaliation against me if they should know what I did. His courageous story no longer a secret. Now the 88-year-old war hero says he honors today's generation of soldiers and has a message. I think that the younger generation should learn more about the history of, of America and about the young men and women that sacrificed their lives. And they should know that and never forget it. Now, after the military, Miyamura went uh, into the service station and worked as an auto mechanic in Gallup, which he still calls home. Back to you. All right, thanks, Gabrielle. Miyamura has also influenced some of his own family members. He says he's proud of his granddaughter who graduated from the Air Force Academy and now serves as a captain in Louisiana. 